Today's topic we'd like to discuss is on osteoarthritis or arthritis of the shoulder. My specialty is shoulder arthritis and torn tendons in the shoulder. I am a shoulder and elbow specialist and I live here in the greater Tampa Bay area. Osteoarthritis is a problem that affects all Americans. And when it affects your shoulder, it has a significant impact on your ability to do your sports and hobbies, especially if you enjoy racket sports, golf, and other things that require use of your arm like baseball and throwing a ball, throwing a football. When people get arthritis, they become painful. They start to lose their ability to do their ADLs and arthritis can even keep you awake at night. It can be so painful you can't get a restful night's sleep. So what do we do? Well, when you go to a doctor, usually the first thing most doctors will do is prescribe an anti-inflammatory such as a Lever Motrin. You may want even something a little bit more uh, over the counter that's a once a day or, or whatever could be helpful that you can take at home. You can use ice, you can rest, you can do exercise, you can work with a physical therapist. We even inject the shoulder. So oftentimes when the arthritis pain is so severe, we can put a cortisone shot right into the joint. That allows the medicine to alleviate the inflammation in your joint. When this starts to fail, then we're stuck with what to do. Now there is surgical treatment for arthritis and that's what's exciting. So our greatest advancements in technology and technique in the past few years has been in terms of replacing the shoulder. We now have what we call minimally invasive surgery, which means we no longer cut the muscles. So in a typical shoulder joint, this has a magnet that holds the ball and the socket together, but your rotator cuff holds the ball to the socket and then your big muscles are over the top. As arthritis progresses, we get a situation where that beautiful cartilage erodes away. You have raw bone surface, and I'm pointing to the socket of the shoulder up here, which loses all the cartilage. On the ball side, you also lose all the cartilage. So when those two come together, it grinds, it swells, and it causes pain. So our objective is to replace that with an artificial ball and socket. And the exciting thing is now, I have a technique where we don't cut the muscles. So we do the typical surgical incision, but by avoiding cutting the muscles with new instrumentation and better technique, gone are the days where after your shoulder replacement, you have to wear an immobilizer for six weeks. We can now do this as an outpatient surgery. It's two weeks in the sling, and you can remove the sling to pull up your pants, to wash your face, and to do your activities of daily living. This is really exciting. This is a big change and it allows our patients to get back to their normal life quicker.